Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Due to YouTube's changing quote-unquote community standards, I created a channel called Grumpy Old Fart over on Rumble, a free speech alternative to YouTube. You can see all of my stuff over there, including my political and social commentary, as well as my current events videos. The links to my YouTube and Rumble channels, as, as well as links to let you order my books, are in the description of this video. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I welcome your comments, even if you disagree with me. Now, on with the video. Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing a movie review of the movie Mannequin from 1987. I don't normally do romance comedies, but this one is just so good. It's one of my favorites, and I'm going to get on right, right onto that. It's a comedy fantasy romance. Um, <clears throat> the plot is uh, a down on his luck artist bounces from one job to another. He just he can't keep a job. <coughs> Excuse me. In one of his jobs, he puts together a mannequin so perfect that he falls in love with it. When he sees the uh, mannequin later, after he loses the job, he, he sees the mannequin displayed in a department store window. He gets a job there as a stock boy. Soon, the mannequin comes to life and he discovers that she is an ancient Egyptian princess. Uh, the, the spirit of that princess inhabited the mannequin. Between the two of them, they create window, dis window displays that attract all kinds of customers, bringing him to the attention of the owner, who is very, very happy with him. <clears throat> uh, this is just a fun, sweet, uplifting movie. It's, it's great for the whole family. It's family friendly. There's not a lot of cussing. There's not a lot of... Uh, there's very little... I don't think there's any nudity, per se. The violence is all comedic, you know? Um, it is it is an uplifting type of a of a show. Um, the 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 cast here was absolutely brilliant. Andrew McCarthy, Kim Cattrall, G W Bailey, G W Bailey, Estelle Getty, James Spader, Carol Davis, Meshock Taylor, Meshock Taylor. I'll get their names right in a minute, folks. I'm I'm on my first cup of coffee. Bear with me. Um, and whenever I do uh, a show like this, the, the production value of this is really good. The it doesn't have an, a wide array of special effects, but what it does is used well. It's 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 got a good plot, very reasonable plot. Again, this is not you're not going to win any Academy Awards with this, but it's good for the family. It's also good if you want to sit down with your lady and or your significant other and enjoy a nice little romantic comedy. There's nothing wrong with it. It's awesome. Whenever I do these, I do standouts. <sighs> um, I chose two here because they work so well together. G.W. Bailey plays Felix, the night security guard. This guy has been in... He was in MASH. He was in... Uh, all kinds, of, all kinds of different stuff. He's a really great character actor. Um, James Spader plays Richards. Every, James Spader is a household name. He's just in everything and he's really good. These two together literally are comedic gold. They are the perfect blend of idiot smart guy and bumbling tough guy. They are, they are the dumbtastic duo. And they sell it so well. They are so funny. Um, the other one, the other one that I wanted to, I, I, I'm going to add this one on the fly. Meshock Taylor plays Hollywood, another uh, employee of the store. Uh, he is just so funny in everything he does. I want to say he was in Designing Women as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but he's just, he was just so funny. Everything he does, he, he he's flamboyant. He's over the top. He's it, everything you want to say about the eighties. He is. He, he he's he's brilliant and he's funny. If you get a chance to check this movie out, 
the movie is Mannequin from 1987. I promise you, you will enjoy it. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all. We elect cookie cutter politicians every single election cycle. Yes, men who maintain the status quo and do just enough to make us believe the system still works. Imagine, if you will, a president who actually tries to fix things. If you like action, political intrigue, and a righteous crusade, check out my political thriller, The Righteous President.